was in flames in college. Park. He burned the car. Good job. Out. It was Andre Carr. 45 minutes later, Andre was shown up back at his job. Clocked out at 3.15. The okay. next day, officers went by the neighborhood of Henson Ridge and came in contact with Andre and Subject 3, which is local. <laughs> <laughs> so you see that your car is on the news. You know the car is on the news. You know that the news is heavy on you. You know for sure that you're a suspect. You know for sure that you did it. And you are outside of a park. On a bench. Sitting here like you didn't just catch three bodies. They told me presidents were smart. So how the fuck I'm getting stupid bands. I'm out the suburban so icy. Feel like Gucci man. Young MD rapper slash serial killer. Tied to 15 shootings in four years. Four lives lost. That being said, Road to 5K. Supposedly he's a, he's a shooter. Hey, so... Let's not waste too much time. Let's get into this video. Comment down below how you feel. Uh, if he would have, if he would have switched up the flow at the end, like. He's in Paul L E Y. Huh? Uh, with me, I'm joined uh, by Cynthia. Uh, I can hear. Cynthia Miller, and our vice mayor Xander Hardcore. <laughs> At approximately 1:50 this afternoon, officers oh responded to the 6600 block of Atwood Street for sounds of report for a report of a shooting. It is confirmed that three people have been shot, two adults and one teenager update on that deadly shooting in southeast that we've been covering since our noon hour thank you for joining us i'm scott thuman and i'm victoria sanchez we know right victoria now that sanchez, two people were you killed look good, and two girl. others hurt including a two-year-old girl on a walk she kind of looks like strong group. though one homicide here like. in the district of columbia is too many and i'm telling you we are sick and tired of growing this. up in dc or the dmv area i'd never go to a party like that shout out my people though but i never i was never that type being shouted to be at nigga parties now don't get me wrong even back then you had different people from different neighborhoods chilling with each other my generation had groups who hang with each other during the go-go's and made names just for that group and in some cases that made people feel better like they had people they can trust all in a one way in, one way out environment. And that tradition took place for many generations to come. Fast forward to 2024, not so much. Some say now go-go's are obsolete, unless it's for the grown and sexy, because of the violence that come with it. Being hard to get a venue to actually approve the go-go. You wouldn't recognize it. And just like the go-go's, you can say that for the neighborhoods in the DMV area. You wouldn't recognize it past this generation. You see that neighborhood that the go-go used to shout out? That was just the neighborhood you grew up in or you was born and raised. Nothing more, nothing less. But nowadays, in the DMV area, they're not going by neighborhoods. They're going by alleged gangs that they formed through alliances through other neighborhoods. While according to authorities, for the sole purpose to go against their enemies and the ones they cool with. And in return, in most cases, some would say the blind leading the blind. Because then you get cases like we got today. Kids with a good home don't even live in these neighborhoods. Coming to the trenches to do drills. Huh? And attempts. In some cases, broad daylight. Not knowing in D.C., they got a camera on almost every corner. But then again, how would you know? Tyler hurt and shooting. Then you also want to be a rapper and talk about these drills on a song. Because now you feel qualified. Turns out that one song you did is a part of your indictment. And not to mention, you know they got to go online, fam. Give clues. And in this case, to 13 viewers. <laughs> that was also in your indictment. And 13 on viewers. <laughs> on a platform now called X. <coughs> Less than 30 followers. The police managed to get a hold of that too. And that's in Less your indictment Less than 30, well. 30 followers. How long you thought it was cool. But by the time you sit behind them walls, you realize you was played too. You put your life on the line for a neighborhood and an older crew. But don't even really own nothing. And sent you to crash up. But like we just said, fam. The blind leading the blind. By the way, that move the older dude put you on, that's the reason y'all got caught. The firearms you using, you posted. And the fit you did a drill in, the same fit you taking pictures in. But it Bro. get worse. According to your affidavit. He just wasn't ready. He, he was, he was trying to move too fast. Ten shootings in four years. With one of them being for three murders in one day. Oh my gosh. What? 
shooting more innocent little girls than your alleged target. But that's what we got here today, family. Two groups. They got many hoods. Allegedly connected according to this 50 plus page affidavit we're about to go. A sad case of following the wrong people just to fit in. But before we go over this one, I want you guys to remember, I don't give you no wank, I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll jump right to it. Some say going on a drill is a priority to be a rapper. But when you think about it, that's probably why it's called drill rap, at least according to these rappers. There's been some unsolved cases in D.C. and Maryland that recently got closure after a recent arrest. It's a neighborhood in southeast D.C. located on Stanton Terrace and Bruce Place, also known as Henson Ridge or the Z, that's allegedly affiliated with neighborhoods. Those are nice neighborhoods. GBY, Get Back, what? and YGA. Oh, they're like that. down the street from he the hood. also closely aligned with the neighborhood crew. That's why. Walk a Mill, also known as WDS, Walk Down Steppers. Now, a person that walk identified in this step. affidavit as subject one is an 18 year old aspiring rapper who go by the name of Marcus Middleton Jr., who's also affiliated Marcus with Marcus Middleton WDS, Jr. Yes, Walk Down Steppers in Walker Mill, Maryland. Now, Marcus lived in Clinton and went to a nice high school in Maryland called Wise. But he was also an inspiring rapper, as we mentioned, and had a thrill for being in the streets. His rap stage name was Aquit, and those who close to Marquise would call him Keese. Now, Marquise had a couple songs on YouTube. One had a video. It was his track title, G30, with only 13,000 views and count. Where he That's not bad to be starting, I guess. Get indicted. Okay, well, never mind. Not if you're doing that. Switch. I come with that Drake. I come in your spot. I sit with you late. I caught two on the date. I was working at Drake. And two men oh, walking got hit in the face. Oh, we even should have kept playing it, bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Andre Green. I was kind of like that. The other perpetrators Too bad he got him in jail, though. I'm not going to lie. Now, Andre and Marquise alleged opposition. According to Andre Affidavit, his neighborhood is like 23rd Street and Savannah Terrace, which is a southeast neighborhood in Washington, D.C., which is also where the shooting occurred. We're later I wonder how, like, the beef started Savannah for him to start, like, off of people. They should, like, Marquise also but not explain had that. Beef with the neighborhood located on 3500 Staten Road, southeast, known as Parkland, also known as Trap Flavor Parkland. or Mob Ties. They also had beef. That just looks, it looks the rough over there, I'm not going to lie. Known as Deuce Deuce. And according to this affidavit, it led to shootings, murders, and this. That's not fair, bro. Guns, days. like, you can't now, do nothing video, with a gun. Even if you're the fastest person out there, piece. you're not running from a gun. You just got to blow back and basically whoever so hits the first ball, shot. According to Andre affidavit, I mean, a shooting that took place dang. July 18, 2000. It's just that quick. You'd be gone. One bullet. Washington, D.C. Broad daylight, 40 minutes before noon. Members of the Metropolitan Police Department, 7th District, were in the area of 23rd and Alabama Avenue, southeast, when they heard the sound of gunshots. Officers responded to a shopping center located on the 2200 block of Alabama Avenue, southeast, where they located four victims suffering from gunshot wounds. Three men and a two-year-old girl who was at daycare during a routine walk. Two of the men died with one being shot in the head. Later identified as Lamont Street, 29 years old, and Jermaine Proctor, 50 years old. Medieval they should ban knives and guns. Families. Now apparently the two men that lost people got run around with hammers with over 10 people. The and other bats. man that was shot was walking forward. I'd rather see someone on that deadly get shooting in jumped South with bats than shot up. You feel me? Noon hour. Thank you for joining us. I mean, I would Scott not Boone. want to see and either, but like, Sanchez, if you had to pick, right now that two people at least with knives, like you take those away too, now there's not like an overpowered weapon. Everybody got to work out, learn how to fight. Police are still looking for multiple suspects. Our Tom Rousey has been on this story. Now there's so much guns here that everybody got a gun. Grandmother. There's 12 year olds with guns. Like, yeah, Scott and Victoria, she tells I'm not saying they're she's legal, in but intensive like, care right now. She's asking the whole community to pray for this little two year old girl named Emily. Emily was with other children getting ready to go for a walk. They and were little Emily got that's hit right up. behind me here that's in the Alabama Plaza oh, she's Shopping right. Center. Well, as they're getting ready to go for a morning walk, according to police, there's guys. A morning walk in the hood? Alabama Avenue here. Why are you going for a morning walk in the hood? The fire. Before it was all said and done, two men were dead. Another man was hit, and little Emily was hit as well. Oh, my goodness. He hit four. 
The child's little Emily. Shared these pictures no. Two year old Emily. I've never seen she a black person named Emily for a walk in my life. Other children and employees never. at her daycare. This is the first time I've ever seen a, a black nearby, person named Emily. And Emily was hit. Police expect the two-year-old to survive. Good job. Side here in the district God protect her. And I'm telling you, we are sick and tired of this. A visibly angry police chief, Pamela Smith, said the children Man. were about to be taken on a normal morning walk. You ain't about to do something. Yeah, you are. You better do something. You need to. And began opening fire. Two men were killed and another man was hit, as was two-year-old Emily. We spoke with one woman who says she's related to one of the men who was killed. They say he got this shot for nothing. He ain't do nothing. The local ANC chair says police were sitting at she's Alabama seen so Plaza much a hurt. lot until suddenly stopping doing so recently. It seems like when the cruisers are not sitting there, it seems like the violence in that in that little vicinity ramps right back up. He says he got a concealed carry permit because of all the violence around here, but he you still better. doesn't feel safe. Duh, nigga, what? Who wants to get in a shootout? Carry, you still have, you, you just never know. Walking through a community, you can be an innocent, not expecting anything to happen. Literally. One mother tells us she tries to keep her nine-year-old son inside constantly. He's inside on his computer or the stupid tablet or that yeah. stupid laptop or whatever. Or those stupid. stupid social media TikTok Dang. sites and all that other stuff. But you know what? It's fine because he's not out here getting shot. The grandmother of two-year-old Emily what? asked the entire You could have said that way better. You don't have to be so like recovery. negative. Like the grandmother says she just I would have just been like, bro, two months ago he's a homebody because he don't want to be out here in these streets. Related to was shot and if you can't move, keep him in there. To today's shooting. She says Taya Let him and play Emily Fortnite. were cousins. Yeah, it's kind of hard to believe on that when the two men who were killed, they fell here By in the Alabama store. Plaza shopping center behind me. The third man who was hit, we are told he is expected to survive. Police believe Emily will survive as well. But again, her grandmother saying she is in intensive care right now. Police still searching for three suspects. They say they believe they left in a blue Dodge. Truck. I know they're watching Actually, this right now. The people who did this. Well, then they arrived. Dang, we're watching the people live in Southeast who did this. Washington. I'm Tom huh. Rousey. Seven. According to Andre recent affidavit, while on surveillance, he was seen plot with the alleged suspects, according to authorities, yeah. while his youngest on camera gearing up to do the shoot a yep. hour before the shooting at around 10 30 a.m surveillance captured two suspects walking in front of seven district police station located on Staten road in alabama avenue in southeast dc which yeah. is a block away from where the shooting occurred now here's footage of the suspects walking eastbound on the 1700 block of alabama avenue southeast towards the 1700 block of Staten terrace which is also in Southeast. Now here's when police, according to Andre affidavit, knew Marquise was the driver of the homicide vehicle. A neighborhood rain camera captured two of the suspects in a much closer view, which also helped point out the shoes he had on and matched the Draco from the shooting almost an hour later. Now 30 minutes before the shooting, police get a camera footage from an alley on the 1800 block of Alabama Avenue in Southeast. And you see three suspects talking together a camera labeled side storage showed a blue dodge charger pulling charger the and stop the jet. alley <laughs> suspect one suspect two and suspect three the suspects were seen getting inside the vehicle the blue dodge charger supposed to be andre's charger and at 10:56, the blue dodge charger briefly pulled off before backing into the driveway of a residence located on the 1800 block of alabama avenue southeast that's when suspect four walked out and went into the driver rear side of the vehicle. The blue Dodge then pulled off and went southbound out the alley, headed towards the 1700 block of Staten Terrace, southeast. It then made a right on the 3200 block of Staten Road. At 11 o'clock, a rain camera located on the 1400 block of Congress Place captured a blue Dodge Charger traveling northbound on the 1400 block of Congress Place in southeast. Moments later, surveillance camera on the 1400 block of Congress Place Southeast had captured the homicide vehicle, a white sedan, briefly moving before stop on the 1400 block of Congress Place. And at this point, just 20 minutes before the murder inside the parking lot. Four minutes later, at 11.04, MPD crime cameras located on Savannah Place had captured the homicide vehicle as it drove past the offense location. From 11.05, to 1117, the homicide vehicle nor the blue Dodge Charger were captured on surveillance footage. 
However, MPD crime cameras located on the 21st Street of Bruce Place captured the following events before and after the homicide. At 1117, a blue Dodge Charger pulled up and parked on 21st and Bruce Place. That appears to be the same blue Dodge Charger that initially picked up the suspects and is believed to have dropped them all at the homicide vehicle, which was only a block away from the offense location. An MPD crime camera located on Alabama Avenue in Stanton Terrace Southeast captured the following events. At 11.19, the homicide vehicle was observed traveling northbound before making a right on the 1800 block of Alabama Avenue. At 11.20, the homicide vehicle was observed traveling eastbound on the 1800 block of Savannah Place. The homicide vehicle headed towards the 3200 block of 22nd Street Southeast. The homicide vehicle then goes out of sight. Moments later, the sound of multiple rounds of gunshots are heard. MPD crime camera located on Savannah Place had captured the homicide vehicle making a stop at the crosswalk of Savannah Place. The right passenger side door and the rear driver's side door had opened. At 11.21, suspect one stopped firing his assault rifle, placed it down to his right side and transitioned to a semi-automatic pistol that was Dang. in his right waistband. Suspect one pointed his handgun in the direction of east of the side. This is crazy, like, bro. Way. This is real life. <laughs> a surveillance camera on a 2200 block of Alabama Avenue like, bro, and what? captured the witness one and witness two walking small children and pushing victim one, who happens to be the two-year-old girl, alongside five other toddlers on the corner of Alabama Avenue. As mentioned, they was in daycare. Witness one and witness two say, when the gunshots rang out, they were able to get victim one and the other children to safety. But ultimately, victim one was struck by gunfire. Thank God she survived. At 11.21, the murder vehicle was seen fleeing the scene. The blue Dodge Charger was observed pulling off the corner of Bruce Place Southeast and proceeding westbound on the 2100 block of Alabama. They did Avenue this, Southeast. and there's so Going much cameras, bro. Surveillance camera. It should be noted that the blue Dodge Charger pulled off directly after the shooting had occurred. At if you do something like this, you have to leave the city for like a couple weeks. This time, police was able to get a clear image of the tag number. At 11:22, that'd be a stolen car, right? Charger made a U-turn on the 1700 block of Alabama Avenue and then made a left turn and began following the homicide vehicle northbound on the 1700 block of Staten Terrace before going out of sight of the surveillance camera. Yeah. Moments later, the blue dog How they get caught? Backed and parked in the same driveway to the residence where it picked up the suspects before committing the homicide. That wasn't their house, the right? Suspects exit the blue Dodge Charger and appeared to walk into the residence associated with the driveway. Now at this point we know Andre oh, So you're telling me they caught a body. They caught three bodies. And drove all the way back to the place that they live with the same car that they off the people in with the same guns <sighs> my people man my people like I hope my people stop doing this you don't hear stories like this about any other race I don't know about other countries I don't know about other countries but in our country in America you don't hear no other race doing this. Why Why are we doing this? Like, bro, we're so, like, we're not, like, what are we doing? We're it's too so reckless. And they, have footage they literally just, like, in front of his home emptied out a whole bunch of guns block, uh, and hit a two-year-old. Andre attempts to go to work with the same tip tags in the front of his car. Through the security he goes to work with the same car that he just caught three bodies in on camera but immediately andre makes a u-turn and don't check in at around 9 57 a.m so he went to work the next day shoot, like bro. andre was seen walking around his job on camera but then at 1206 he leaves back with his car parked on the end of his employment and his car time saying he's checked in but by this time andre car was all over the news and social media two hours later six district received a call regarding andre's blue dodge charger parked in the driveway of a residence located on the 1200 block of 48th street in northeast oh, the caller provided merlin temporary tags for that vehicle which matched the surveillance 
But by that time, members of the Metropolitan Police Department had arrived at the location. The vehicle had left the area. 30 minutes later, at around 2.30 p.m., Prince George's County Police had received a call that a blue Dodge Charger was in flames in College Park. He burned the car, good job. Out, it was Andre Carr. 45 minutes later, Andre was shown up back at his job, clocked out at 3.15. The okay. next day, officers went by the neighborhood of Henson Ridge and came in contact with Andre and Subject 3, which is local. <laughs> so you see that your car is on the news. You know the car is on the news. You know that the news is heavy on you. You know for sure that you're a suspect. You know for sure that you did it. And you are outside of a park. On a bench. Sitting here like you didn't just catch three bodies. <laughs> what in the world? On Bruce Place in Southeast. Subject 3 had on the same black and gray jacket and Crocs from the scene of the shoot. A couple weeks later, he the, the, he wore the same clothes, bro. Police came to the conclusion that Subject 1 was Marquise. They compared his Instagram live with 13 views to the ring doorbell footage with this hoodie on. They also compared his Balenciaga shoes and his pictures. He so wore the book bag and his pictures that matched the shoes and book bag of the scene. They also oh my. found this Twitter account now known as X with less than 30 followers. They had oh, bro, he had. The same shoes, same pants, same backpack, same white beater, same hat, all on while he committed a murder. What is going on, bro? And he posted it all. Went on live, everything, bro. Oh, Had my gosh. Of him holding the alleged murder weapons inside a local hotel bathroom. They also saw a post he made just last month on August 1st, 2024. Little did Marquise know that would be his last post on social media. He played a song that we mentioned at the beginning of this video with his verse. With the caption, I know why they mad. Hashtag, long live him. Hashtag, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Now here are some pictures of the firearms that was recovered. These firearms was linked to 15 shootings in four years, with the 10 being contact shootings in the DMV area. Brought you last night, police have made an arrest in a shooting that killed two men and severely injured a two-year-old little girl this summer. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz dug into court documents that are providing more insight into what investigators believe prompted that shooting and how they were able to track one of the suspects down using surveillance cameras and social media. Right, Rafa? That's right, Lorenzo. Prosecutors say Andre Green was the driver helping the shooters. Bro, the I don't get why they post. If it's illegal, why are you posting on social media? It's associated with at least two. It's illegal. Games. I understand Green people get famous for it, but every single person who gets out of this white a whole bunch of money from social media for posting that Alabama goes to jail on Street, or ends up dead. On July 18th, two men were killed. Lamont Street and Jermaine Proctor, a third was injured. At the top left corner of your screen, you see the two daycare educators and six children who got caught up in the crossfire. Two-year-old Emily was shot in the stomach and arm. Her grandmother says the toddler is still dealing with the trauma. Yeah, oh my god. Shakes or just stirs at times, but overall, she's still that's sad, bro. Oh my god, these four suspects involved in the deadly shooting. One of them, 25 year old Andre Green. Green was charged pursuant to a DC Superior Court arrest warrant with first degree murder while armed for his role in this shooting. We would like to thank our community for their assistance with this. Case. We know that the brazenness of the suspects in this case shocked the community. Court documents say Green was bragging about the shooting at work. DC police released this photo of a blue charger involved in the shooting. Investigators say the car belongs to Green, seen here driving it. They're all gonna be in jail for so long. Photos, the charger was found engulfed in flames underneath a bridge in College Park, Feel according me. to court documents. And I know there will be more arrests, and I'm asking them to turn yourself in. And I forgive you. You believe it or not, I've been forgave you. Yeah, Green is being held without bond tonight. I mean, that's because her baby recovered, a local which is good. As one of the shooters, investigators say the rapper not only posted photos on social media with what they believe to be the guns used in this July shooting, but he also posted a rap claiming to shoot two men in the face. It's still unclear why the two 
men who died were targeted in this fatal uh, incident, Lorenzo. Yeah, and we are still thinking of those families and also two-year-old little Emily tonight. Hopefully they'll find those suspects little Emily. Another sad story and harsh reality that it's almost yeah. impossible to get away with a crazy crime like this in broad daylight. And on top of that, they even, yeah, they did like this well in planned, broad daylight. Just not gonna get away. And as we wrap this video up, nonetheless, we send a love and prayers to every victim we talked about in this story and to their families. Even the suspect, bro, they blind, need, they need God. Blind. This, this was the story terrible. of a man recently being indicted for orchestrating the hit with this youngest, not even pulling the trigger, but he was around it, seven years older than the people he had allegedly. So you're telling me, yeah, he was too old to about be doing this. this. In the comments. Yeah, idiot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And today, i catch you guys on the next one. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Uh, crazy people gonna do crazy things, man. Stay out the way. Stay out of trouble. Be safe. Feel me? This it's crazy out here. <sighs> Hope y'all enjoyed that. Comment down below how you feel. I forgot the rapper's name, but he's definitely he's definitely going to jail for like a while. They said that that gun had 15 shootings on it in the past four years or something like that. 10 shootings. That's crazy. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like Scott. Peace out. They told me presidents were smart, so how the fuck I'm getting stupid bad? Hop out the suburban, so icy, feel like Gucci man.